In brushes now, we're going to add some color to our picture that we have been adding the black line to. So I'll find my picture again, swipe to open it up, and click on the layers down on the right hand corner. And I'm going to notice that I have my black line and my photo still there. If I want to see just my black line, I'll make the photo disappear by shutting it off. We are going to be adding a new layer. We're not going to be drawing on either of these right now. So what you're going to do is lock, see that little lock? Lock down the drawing, lock down the photo as well. We'll hit the plus and that'll access us a new layer. So I'm going to sandwich this layer. I want my drawing to be on the top, my layer to be in the middle, and my photo to be on the bottom. Double check, is your drawing locked? Is your photo locked? And is the blue around the new layer? All right, now let's get started with coloring. I'm going to start with the beak right here. And wherever I want a color, I'm going to press my finger or my stylus down, and it's going to find that color. And then I can start adding it on. Now, there's lots of different colors in this section, so I'm going to put my finger down, press it down. It'll find the new color. I'll start adding that on. Here's another color. I'll start adding this on. And you can kind of see where the black line helps out. If I want to get it even closer, I'll just increase it. This part right here is black. So I'm just looking for those new colors, adding them on. We'll finish, uh-oh, kind of went outside the lines here. I can undo it, undo it, or erase it, of course. I can also make my drawing tool a little bit skinnier. So I can go down to like a 0.8 when I'm doing these new areas that are nice and tight. Okay, let's just take a look at what we've done so far. So if I go back to layers and make the picture disappear, there you can see the color behind my drawing. We'll continue this way until the whole picture is completed.